Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to do a huge TJ Maxx haul. Um, I did want to apologize real quick for the length of my absence. Uh, me and my son, we had the flu this past month. So we've just kind of been out of it, like just down and out, and just so sick. But I'm feeling better now and I still have a little bit of my cold left. So I'm sure you guys can hear that. And I apologize if that is bothersome to anybody, but it's just what I'm having to deal with right now. I have a lot of catching up to do, so let's just get into this. I am going to show you what I am wearing on my nails really quick, real quick. Really quick, real quick. That makes a lot of sense, don't it? Still a little bit delirious, I guess. Alright, so the first one here that I have to show you for this Manny is... And orally and it is in the shade makeup to break up I did pick this up at TJ Maxx and it is a beautiful teal cream and then right here is a swatch of that even though you see it on my nails, it's just really beautiful. And then the other colors I'm wearing on my nails are also orally polishes, but they are not new purchases. So I have on Rage and Mirror Ball. So that's that. Now let's get into the rest of the polish. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with the OPIs that I picked up at TJ Maxx. Um, this first one here is called My Current Crush. It's a really pretty like fuchsia and silver textured polish. I absolutely love this, it's super pretty. Formula is just amazing of course and the swatch for that one is right here okay next we have Good Grief, and this is like a uh, Crayola yellow. Well, actually, you know what? It's a little bit deeper than a normal yellow would be, in my opinion. But the formula isn't too great. I had to do like three coats, but it's not too bad. I mean, I didn't pay full price, so. And I believe it's from 2014's uh, Halloween collection, and that also came with two others or three others, but I picked up this one too at TJ Maxx. It's called Where's My Blanket? It's a glitter mix. It has uh, black hex and bar glitters and then like these peach and yellow hex glitters and it's all matte. Really cool. I'll show you these swatches for those. So here's that yellow right there, and then here is that glitter. Okay. Next, I picked up Have It the Foggiest. This is a beautiful, like, gunmetal, pewter, gray, foil, metallic, super pretty color. I'm actually really, really into this. Super pretty. And I have that guy. Swatched right there. Next up. I picked up two, these two right here I just picked up 
uh, the other day. It was in a two pack and it also came with these little star rigs. There's two. They were connected. I took them apart. But uh, it's two of the new polishes from the Starlight Winter 2015 collection. And this first one here, this one is called Let Your Love Shine. It's a beautiful red metallic with uh, like gold shimmer in there with it. It's just really, really pretty color. And this one is called Infrared Ready Infra Ready to Glow. And it's a clear base. And this one is pretty unique. Um, but it has like these I don't know. It's got holographic hex glitters in a couple different sizes. But it also has like these arrow looking glitters. It's very different. So I grabbed those and I'll show you guys. So here is that first one I showed you, the red, and then here is that glitter. You see what I mean? It's like so different, but I like it. It's, it's kind of cool. I don't have anything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to move on to Spa Ritual. Okay, so the first one I have here is called North Star, and it's this really pretty, like, purple to blue to pink kind of duochrome metallic shimmery polish. Super pretty, about three coats for full opacity, but it's really nice. Uh, there is the swatch for that. Next up, this is just a black matte, but I really like it. It's one coater, and this is called Determination. And the way you could tell if they are uh, matte, the bottles are usually frosted. So right there is a swatch of that. And the last one from Spa Ritual I grabbed is Loyalty. And this is a blue matte polish. And then right here is the swatch of that. Alright, so let's move on to Orly. Okay, so I've already shown you guys this one right here. This is uh, Makeup to Breakup, which I am wearing. I picked that up at TJ Maxx. And within that same collection, this is from the um, 2015 Winter Collection, I think, from Orly. They had all of them there. I don't know why, but they did, and I got them on sale. But this is also one out of that collection. This one right here, this one's really cool, though, guys. It's called Frenemy. And it is a black jelly base with a ton of holographic shimmer and then it has like holographic little flaky shards and stuff throughout it it is absolutely stunning oh my god it's so pretty though and I have it swatched somewhere, I promise I do. <laughs> this one is probably going to need about three coats though, so just be aware of that. I don't know exactly why it's like that. Maybe because that jelly base, I'd assume, yeah. But, oh, it's so pretty. Okay. And then I, yeah, I already showed you the uh, makeup to break up. Alright, next, this is just a random that I thought that I would love. This one is called Robo Romance. 
This is a seriously like super lightly tinted pink jelly base with a ton of iridescent glitter in there. And I thought that it was going to be more opaque than it is, but it's just, it's like a, like a nothing polish. Uh, you're seeing three coats right here for the swatch of it. And that's just barely enough to really be able to see what's going on, really. And the last one that I picked up from Orly at TJ Maxx is called Sweet Peacock. This is a intense, like, bright blue metallic foil. Oh my god, this color is so beautiful. And right here is the swatch for that. It is so pretty. All right, so now we're going to move on to Butter London. All right, so this first one here, I don't know how to say this, Trustavarian or whatever, but it is a sage green holographic polish and oh my goodness you guys it's beautiful you have to get it in the sunlight though to really get that full effect but it is just so pretty I couldn't believe that they had it at TJ Max, so of course I had to get that so here is two coats of however you pronounce that super gorgeous the next one is really beautiful as well. It's called Bit Faker, and it is a clear base with a ton of this, like, bronzy glitter. But it's so dense that you could get it opaque in two coats. I love it. Excuse me, guys. I know I'm stifling. I, I, like I said, I'm still sick a little bit. But here is that one. Oh, it's so it does dry down kind of uh, matte, but I don't care, I like it. Okay, the next one is called Sun Baker. This is a beautiful shimmery metallic uh, like burnt orange color. It has like this gold shift to it. Oh, it's so I really did really good the past couple months at TJ Maxx. I got some really good stuff. Hopefully you guys can find them too if you want them. Um, but here is Sun Baker. And the last Butter London is called Bramble. And it's just a deep plump kind of purple shade. It's really pretty, really nice formula. But I don't really expect anything less whatever it comes to Butter London. So here is two coats of that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Essie and just some stragglers. All right, so up first here I have Groove is in the Heart. It's Essie, like I just said. It's a beautiful, like, bubble gummy kind of pink. It's showing up so much lighter on camera. Oh, that sucks. It's really pretty, though. I think that that came out of this last summer neon collection. It's not neon, though. I don't know why they do that. But here is two coats of that. I love that color so much. The other Essie that I picked up is called Navigate Her. I've wanted this for a long time, but I finally found it. Uh, it's a beautiful kind of muted pistachio, like sage green kind of color. I don't know how to describe it. It's just beautiful. So that's right there. All right, and the very last one that I have for this haul is a Sally Hansen color frenzy. And this one is in the shade Splattered. 
clear base. It has some black tidy hexes, peak hexes, peak bar glitter, gold hexes, and yeah, just a big variety of color. It's really pretty though. And I have that right here, which is two coats. I guess it looks like it has gold bar glitter as well. It has like a some little shard look at pieces hanging out in it as well. Really pretty. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me, and I apologize again for being gone for so long. But I'm getting back on track, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!